<laughs> and he's fishing. Hey everyone, Andy here. I'm in the forest. It's um, yeah, it's pretty dark. Uh, yeah, just um. And half half a day's fishing got got quite a few fish actually, so you can be looking forward to that. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to fish tomorrow. Probably will actually. Uh, long walk out, but um, it's just nice being in here. The um, the concerto you can probably hear in the background is uh, cane toads. So not so natural and nice, but eh, it's part of it, part of the bush now. So it's, um, yeah, it's just nice being in here. So, yeah, enjoy the show. Oh, that hit. Oh, I don't know, Jack or Barra? I think it's a Jack. Oh, he's stuck in that weed. Oh, I don't know about getting this one out. Come on, swim out, buddy. There he is. Yep, yeah, nice, Jack. Very nice, Jack. He's about 37 centimetres. And, um, yeah, really, really deep, Jack. Very nice, eh? What you get, buddy? Alright, dude, I'll let you go, eh? Oh, he didn't want to stick around. Wow. So I'm fishing with uh, Jonas's hand painted lures. I've got a video on um, here promoting his stuff. He's a, he's a very talented lure painter and he actually sells stuff to, to paint lures and he sells the, um, the body blanks. So I asked him to make a, um, a rainbow fish pattern. And this one's it. It's um, it's actually pretty much just a suspender. Uh, I'll just drop it in the water here, and you can see. There you go. It just sits there. It's really good to see while I'm walking through this shallow weed here. I mean, there's a lot of tadpoles from toads, which is bad, but I've seen three little barra, probably about 20 centimeters long. One was 15. A couple were 20. So yeah, it's really good to see. Really nice. There must be hundreds of little barra all through here. I can't see into the water, I can't see the bottom, but it's about knee deep. And it's just, just prime, prime barra growing up territory. This is the, the nursery in here. Check out this gudgeon. That is one pretty fish. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to try and get the underwater camera out. I don't even want to catch him, I'm just going to try and film him. He is spectacular. Tree in the water on this side. Right up against it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think that could be a little bar. Or a jack, maybe another jack. Yep, yeah. oh it's a nice jack. Very nice. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, I'm walking out in the middle of the, the river here and just fishing into the darker, deeper corners. Nice one. Okay, let's see. Um, I'll have to drag him up in the shallows over here. 
Oh, another nice, another nice fish. This is, uh, water's well above my knees at the moment. Look at the colours on him. Little dude, there you go. There you go. Yeah, he's a, oh, a nice fish. Pretty close to 40 centimetres, that one. Yeah, so Jonas, these, um, yeah, those lures work really well. No grab jack, love them, oh, there we go, it just fell out. And, uh, yeah, we might just, um, let's go right, go right here. This is a quick measurement on him. Oh, yeah, he's, he's a good 40 centimetres, that one. Beautiful. Oh, I don't like to stick around very long. He's gone. So today's been a bit slow. There's um the water's really clear, but there's no weed anywhere. Like this is over knee deep here. And I can see the bottom all around me. So I'll have to, have to do a little bit different things and the only reason I'm doing this is because I can see right into the water. If I couldn't see into the water there's no way I'd be doing this. There's um, too many crocs in here. Let's try that same spot again just where that, that jack just came out of. Yep, the cast is pretty good. Oh, I just saw a fish, he just came out followed it a fair way so I just, just cast in where I saw him go to I reckon he went in here oh there he is, there's a jack and there's another one here, look at this take this mango jack out he's a good sized fish he's just eyeing it off you might not see that. And he's behind the lure. Come on. And we keep casting in there. That's two, two more mangrove jack I've seen in this same spot. Me catching the other ones probably made them a bit wary. I'll give you my theory why we're just getting jacks today. If you have a look at here, it's all clear, like really super clear water. And this weed here, don't ask me what it's called, I'm sure a lot of people will know it, but um, it has to grow. And this is the sort of weed that the, the barra like to ambush in. Uh, as you can see, there's no structure here at all anywhere from, from the hide. So they're probably um, sulking somewhere. Uh, because in this clear water barra, barra can't feed, they, um, they need the element of surprise, whereas mangrove jack, which we've been getting, um, they're quite happy to feed in this really clear clear uh, water. Probably more at night than during the day, but um, it's not stopping us getting a few today, so yeah. My next theory for the day is all the barra are sitting in this grassy edge. Let's see if we can tap one out. I was just about to go walking somewhere else and I got nailed. Oh, I think he's around something there. Oh, he's definitely around. Yep, he's around. Oh, he's going to do me, I think. Oh, I've just given up on that cast. Oh, I have to see if I can lift up whatever it is. Oh, there he is. It's another nice jack. Oh, he's wrapping himself around further and further. Let's see. Oh, I think he's going to snap it. Oh, that's too big for me to lift up. 
Ah, that's not good. That is not good at all. Let's see. Ah, yep, yeah, there he is. He's gone. Snap me off. Oh, that was bound to happen in that. Oh, I couldn't, couldn't lift that up. Here's a bit I don't normally show you. I'm in knee deep water and I gotta get up up here. Let's see how this works. Oh. No. Jungle FG knot tying. Just um, got smoked by that mangrove jack, and I'm going to put a different lure on. And while I'm doing that, I may as well retie my leader. So it's getting a oh, it's probably about 4:30 in the afternoon. It's getting a bit late, and um, seeing as we're all we're getting is jacks, so I'm going to put on a, a skitter pop. Get a bit of surface action going on, and um, yeah, hopefully we can get some surface strikes on that. I'm going to fish till dark, and then um, yeah, maybe have a little fish in the morning. Uh, I see a bit of a log in the water here, looks pretty good. I'll get down there and have a go. As you can see, the water's just super clear. Oh, not hitting it properly. All right, let's go back out there again. There's a spider crawling on my glasses. Oh, Ooh, mangrove jack, got it. Yes. Oh. I think it's a jack, very red jack, nice one. It's definitely jack trip to this trip. Oh, he's got a bit of power, this one. There he is. Nice, very nice. Let's see if we can lift him up. No, he's not, I don't think he's as big as the other two. Actually, three. There's my hat. He's a very nice jack. Oh. I um, retract my statement. I think this could be one of the bigger ones. Very nice. And he is... He'll be getting up to 45 centimetres. And, uh, sorry about the dirt, little buddy. It's uh, not the best place for you here. I'll just um, give him a little flip and he'll be back in the water. Try not to get chomped. Off you go, buddy. There he goes. All good. Whew. Jack Central. I actually saw him come up after the lure a couple of times and... Just down here, slowed down a little bit and pop, pop and grabbed it. Nice one. Oh! <laughs> oh, now that was a nice take. Oh, another Jack. Definitely Jack Central here. Good size one too. Oh, just skull dragging this one in. Gonna take off shortly, I reckon. Whew. Oh yeah, he's another 40. There he goes. I knew he would. Oh, nice. Oh, sinking right down. 
Whee. As you can see, that's leaf litter right to my kneecaps there. And he fell off. That's all right. Just too much mucking around. That's all right. We saw him. So normally I catch, I'd say a lot more barra than jacks, but today it's been jack, 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 jack. And uh, I do think it's the, the clear water with, with no weed. Barras are just stuck up against the side, but I don't mind. I'll just see if we can get another one. And that guy there, that last one, it was just kind of out in the open here. Just a really open sort of area. There's um, not a lot of structure there, just a few few little rocks. I guess they're just patrolling around and cruising. So Who knows, maybe the barrel will come out later tonight when it gets a bit darker. Hello, Mr. Jack has just come into the noise. He's just to my right there. Oh, there's another big Jack. He's right under it. Oh, he's a bit freaked out. Got two Jacks interested here. Oh! Oh, that's a jack. Come on, eat it. Got yes. <laughs> oh no, it's a barra that one. Oh, oh, he had three goes at it. Oh, he finally got it. <laughs> oh, nice. Very gold colour this one. Very gold. Okay. Beautiful little fish. We are few and far between today. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, <laughs> look at the colour on that. Wow, let's get him in. That is just beautiful. He's actually not that little. Oh, I know, I keep calling fish little. It's not a bad, not a bad fish at all. Look at the colour on this guy. That is not photoshopped or anything. That is a golden barra. Look at that. Okay. Get a quick measurement while we still got him here in the wet. He is... Yeah, he's legal size. 55. What a beautiful fish. Wow. Oh, that lure's right down there too. Look at that. Hey. There we go. Beautiful. And look at the colour on this guy. That is one wild coloured barra. I've never seen them with like almost gold on their stomach. Hey, you're a beautiful fish. You're a very beautiful fish. Look at that. Gold barra. A little barra just took off from here. <laughs> oh, look at that. One last look at Mr. Barra before we let him go. And I'm going to say, yeah, he's just on legal size. But that's alright. Weed beds, bit of a snag. Let's see if there's someone hanging around that. Oh, straight away. Well, hang on. And that's tarpon. Can't see him from here. Let's try that again. 
again. Oh, that got me a bit of a surprise there. I didn't expect it that quick. Yep, that's a tarpon, I think. Yep, flipping around. Oh, jumping into the snag. Where are you? Come on, swim out. There we go. Into the weed. Ah, oh, I think we got a tarpon. Cool. Barra's Jackson tarpon. What a cool trip. What a cool trip. And just like the Barra, look how golden that guy is. That's a beautiful fish. I'll let you go, buddy. Off you go. Cool. <laughs> oh, that's why I like I like the serenity and fish are a special bonus. Great. So after that barren tarpon, you can probably tell um, it's the lines chafed up from there to there, so. It's probably still strong enough, but if I get a big barrow that I have to fight for 5-10 minutes, I'm going to uh, replace that, just re it up here. So, yeah, little skitter pops working, working really well. And now, now is the time of day. The sun's almost down, so, yeah. Hopefully we get a few more fish. Let's try that same spot one more time. Sometimes when the um, tarpon splash around, a barrow will come in to investigate. So, let's give that theory a run. Oh, there's a barrel. It's right under it. Got him! Ooh, I struck a little bit too early. And the lure's up in the tree. But, I tell you, my theory just worked. <laughs> let's see if we can get him out again. I didn't see where he went. Oh, there he is. Oh, he missed it. I wonder if he missed it last time. Maybe he missed it last time as well. Oh, it's right on that weed and he's sitting right there. He definitely missed it. Didn't strike that time at all. Alright, let's try again. I wonder how long he's going to play with me. <sighs> That's pretty cool. I like it when my theories work. Get all this slime off here. Fish won't eat a little with slime on it. That's pretty good. Now, let's see. We have to draw him out. The problem is he's right under our feet. We have to draw him out, out that way a bit. Weed. And I got him. <laughs> oh, Ariel. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, third time. And got him. Oh, he's another, another really gold coloured one. Oh, there's a lot of weed on that one. But we got him. That was cool. Oh. <laughs> uh, that is so cool. Let's drag him in. There's a bar under that weed somewhere. Hey little fella. Bet you'll think twice about doing that again. Settle down. There we go, that wasn't hard. Not nearly as, as gold as the last one, but still really nice fish. Let's see how big you are. He is oh, 50, 53, 54. Nice little fish. Yeah, I'll let this guy go. Let's 
Let me be holding just a little while. Let him breathe. Oh, he wants to go. He wants to go pretty quick. There he is. He's off. Beautiful. Actually, I think that could be some very small barramundi. They're probably this year's actually. Way too quick. I only just heard the um, the noise from the water. Okay. Let's see if we can get him. There's actually one mid-sized barramundi and two very small ones there. Oh, he's spooked. Where is he? I'll try and get in front of him. He's on it, yep. He's on it. Got him, yes. <laughs> nice. Oh, just oh, just before, you probably noticed it, but oh, it's in there. I um, I just turned around and thought, oh, there's nothing there. I couldn't see it. And then he just just came and grabbed it. Well, he tried to grab it. I heard this heard the swirl in the water. And then I, I looked down and there's this guy sitting there. So that's pretty cool. Wow, that is cool. Oh, stay out of there. Alright, I might just try and see if we can drop him in here. There we go. Just got a really nice hard lip grip on him. These small fish, it doesn't really phase them too much if you hold them like that. Once they get about 60 centimetres, you shouldn't hold them like that. You should always support them under the belly. But yeah, cute. Oh, almost dropped him. Cute little guy. He's probably only just over 52, 51, something like that. So, where are we going to let you go? Put you right back here. Hey, off you go. There you go. That's cool. He's still sitting there. Whether you can see him or not, I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Ah, wow. What a cool day. There's a little baby barra. He's um he's only that long. There's no way you'll see him, but yeah, he's just sitting there. Wondering what all the noise is about. We'll cast at him, but very sure he's not going to go for it. Oh, that's right on top of him. Nah, he's too small. He's only three times the size of Lua. But it's good to see him in here. The little guy's breeding up. <sighs> nice. And I've, I've seen a heap of little baby mangrove jack. There was one here. Oh, there he is there. He's about that long. And you can tell them they've um oh there's another one. Oh there's three, four, five. <laughs> oh there's probably about twenty of them or so. But yeah, you can see them by their um bright red pectoral fin. Here they are, they're cruising around. I'll um, see if I can get some underwater footage of those guys for you. They're cool. Yeah, like I said, they're literally two, three inches long. Little teeny weeny guys. Good to see us system healthy. This is nice. Barra, let's see if he's there again. Okay, it's getting really dark now and I'm still a kilometer from where I left all my stuff. Hmm. Alright. That looks pretty steep. 
So here's a tip for oh, wanna be. Oh. Hang on a sec. Alright. So here's a tip for young jungle fishermen or people who want to try this sort of thing. Always bring a head torch. That one kilometer I thought is probably more like two kilometers. And uh, I know this area reasonably well, so I'm good, but if you leave your stuff somewhere at night, it's very hard to find it. So just be warned, don't go into the forest, leave your stuff, and if you do, make sure you know where it is, or at least have a very good head torch with you. Don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a crocodile up there. He's probably about 50 metres away. Definitely a croc though. Nothing else has eyes that bright. He's just gone down. So now we've got crocodiles and rain. Well, just one crocodile. And I think he's pretty small. Looks like about oh, 10 centimetres between the eyes. So in my book that's pretty small. I don't think it'll bother me tonight. Hey everyone, it's the next morning, it's uh, probably a bit after 7 in the morning. As you can see everything's wet, it uh, rained probably 3 o'clock in the morning onwards. And everything I own, everything I've got with me is wet. It's um, sleeping bag, all my clothes, um, hammock. Hopefully the cameras are dry, so we might film a little bit, but it's definitely going to rain a bit more. And well, we've got to walk out anyway, so... May as well have a poke along the river. I changed to a Sibyl this morning. A little subsurface um, slider. Oh, tarpon swell. Oh, tarpon hit. Come on. Oh, another tarpon hit. Another tap and hit. Come on. Another hit. Yeah, tap and are very hard to hook up. You just tap it and they just let it go real quick. Oh, swell. Oh, hit. Come on. Oh, got him. <laughs> I just, oh, that was a little barra. I'd just given up on that tarpon and I was cranking it in when a little barra came and grabbed it. That's pretty cool. But yeah, he didn't stick. Oh, got him, yes! <laughs> oh, I dropped him. Oh, he was on. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's the same barra I just missed, but a bit of fun. <laughs> I think that's a tarpon. Oh, the way it just ran fast there. Oh, good size one. I think it's a tarpon. It's got a bit of weight in it, but I'm still going for tarpon. Or, hang on, mangrove jack. Yes, let's go mangrove jack. Yep, definitely mangrove jack. <laughs> Out in the open. Oh, here we go. Oh, in the way. Mmm. <sighs> So much weed. Let's see. Oh, no, go on there. Come on, where are you? Oh, now he's stuck. Where are you, buddy? Oh, another nice fish. Look at that. Oh, thank you. Let's keep dragging in here. Just 
Just look how nice and dark this guy is. Oh, he's gonna take off real quick, I reckon. Oh, there he goes. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, is that a baby bar? I think it is. It is too. Get him in. Oh, he's stuck. Come on in, little baby bar. Such a tiny little dude. How cute is that? Oh, let's get him up here. So many cool fish. There we go, cute little bar. And he is probably one year old. Nice little fish. I've seen a few others that are probably half his size. So they'd be this year's, but yeah. He's, um, he's made it through his first year of life. So hopefully you grow up and get a much bigger little fish. Eh? Off you go. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's the bills. Sure work. That, um, yeah, that, that action like that, it, um, it really sets them off. And it's good because the strikes are right on the surface, so you can always see it. That's really cool. So I catch a few fish in one spot and then move along a bit and find another spot. That's the way it's going. And, oh, getting caught up everywhere. That's also the way it's going. Oh. But, yeah. No, good fishing this morning already, so... Yep, rain, rain and more rain. Apart from the um, cameras getting wet, it's actually not bad having a bit of rain. Keeps it cool, the fish um, probably a bit more active or less less cautious. The only thing is that, yeah, the cameras can get wet, so I've just got to be a bit careful. But this should stop, or oh, maybe stop, might keep going, who knows. Looks like it's set in actually. Hmm. Oh well, I've had a good good two days, so yeah, long walk out still. If you want to see more of my videos, click one of the links you see up here. Or if you want to subscribe, click the link here, you'll get my latest videos straight away. If you want to contribute, uh, have a look at Patreon down here. You can donate any amount you want. Above $3 isn't taxed so harshly. Uh, you can stop any time you want. And yeah, that, that way you can support me in making bigger, better and more interesting videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.